Hey guys, welcome back to another ST3D video. Like always, I'm VJ. Today we're going to be talking about how to repair your Bowden tubes from coming off. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people have been having issues with it. A few people messaged me on how to fix it. So here's a quick fix on it, guys. Now, if this part uh, stays in and the tube actually comes out, the reason that's happening is because see this little gap right here? When you push this in, uh, you can pull it out, but when this is open, it keeps it from coming out. So one easy way to fix that issue is just to go ahead and print these little Bowden clips, which just pop right into place like so. I don't know if you can see it, but they just pop in like that. And what that does is it keeps this apart, therefore keeping your tube pretty tight. So that's the number one issue people have. So these little clips will fix that. I'll put a link to this at the bottom. The second problem that people are having recently that I've noticed is it's actually completely coming off. The reason this is happening is because when you have this, which is made of plastic, um, eventually over time unscrewing this, screwing this back on, I don't know why you would do that, but I know I did it in the beginning. Um, <clears throat> this gets cross threaded what that means is the threading on here is not the same as in there anymore because over time you're taking it in and out so easy way to fix that temporarily um, so you can order a new one of these or print a new one of these which I will also put in the link below uh, they're basically free so you just unscrew the four screws and pop this off and take all these out and put a new one in um, but Basically, what you want to do is you want to take some crazy glue or super glue and put it around the threading right there all the way around. Don't go too crazy on it, but just enough. And once you do that, go and put this back in and turn it and let it sit there for a couple uh, couple minutes. And then you'll notice when you try to pull it or even turn it, um, it'll be very stiff and it won't come out. Now you can still unscrew it and take it out. And that will fix it. So another thing you can do, uh, you can go and pick up one of these. These are called thread locks. Uh, basically what it is, a liquid form. And when you apply it on here, um, it will actually lock that into place. And it's super hard. So in order to get that back off, you might need to take a heat gun to it to take it off. So if you want this permanently to stay in there, uh, this is what you want to use. Now keep in mind, this actually says thread lock red on it and if you can see it there it goes thread lock red red is the high strength basically which means if if i put this on here and put it in here eh, i'm gonna need a heat gun to undo that and take it off now there's another version of this the red comes in a blue <laughs> it's weird the red comes in a blue um, packaging like this and then there's a blue which comes in a red packaging now if you use the thread lock blue when you apply that on here, uh, you can actually put that on and let it dry. And you can actually twist it off later without applying a heat gun to it. So this is just basically like industrial strength. Uh, and the blue is just uh, basically like a super glue, but it just works a little bit better. Better. So those are the two or three tips I can give you guys to get this fixed. Uh, at least until you can print a new one or order all metal or all aluminum or whatever uh, type feeder. Uh, guide you need and uh, that's basically it guys that that should help you out fix the problem temporarily but if you use the thread lock it should fix it permanently and this way that part will never come off until you actually take a heat gun and if you have any questions about this video just go and let me uh, know by leaving a comment down below as you guys know I respond to every single comment that I get and also uh, if you have questions about anything else go and leave it down below as well if you want to see um, new videos guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel um, and like always good luck and happy printing